morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning viewers all over the world, good morning. Today is first Sunday of October 2021. Good morning, good morning viewers. Today we are here to, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are inviting viewers all over the world to join us today to our Sunday service. You will richly be blessed. Good morning. And thanks to all those who have already joined. Those who are on their way joining, God bless you. Thank you, thank you to everyone to this forum today, Omega Power Ministry. Good morning. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are appreciated. Thank you for everyone that joins this forum every Sunday. Thank you. God bless you. God bless your family. God will increase and enlarge your coast and make you a mysterious woman. Thank you everyone that joined this forum every Sunday. God bless you. We are going to start the service now. Join us as you will be blessed. Join us as you will be blessed. Thank everyone that is coming in this forum every day. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Lord. We have we have prayed a wonderful prayer for today. And all those who are generous, you are blessed. Those who are about to join us, you are also blessed and welcome. Thank you, everyone. If you use these to remove it. Father, we adore you. We lay our lives before you. I will, I will love you. So we adore you. We lay our lives before you. I will, I will love you. Is 
Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And He is Lord. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord. 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 He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you worship you, we glorify your name, we thank you for this good day. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Le kataya la sata bala bala bala. Male ye le kete ya la sata bala kataya la la. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We thank you, Lord, for this great day. We thank you. We honor you. We worship you. We glorify you. Male ye le kataya sata bala bala bala. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Male ye la kataya la sata bala bala bala. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Of everything, oh God. Heavenly Father, we lift our voice before you, oh God. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We honor you, oh God. We give you all the exaltations, oh God. Because you are God that we call upon. There is no one like you, oh God. Blessed be the name because you are God. You are so worthy to be praised. 
You are God of today, the ancient of Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. You are the King of kings. You are the majesty. You are the God that blesses. You are the God that answers. Thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done and what you are about to do. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless us today. Have your way in our life. Have your way in what we do. Have your way in what we ask for. Bless us today. Leave us all your glory. Bless us today. Today is the first Sunday. Lord, we commit this Sunday into your hands. And this Sunday will be blessed. Answer our prayers. Balakataya la la la. Ebelei ya la kata sata la kata. Himalei ya zata la shata kata le ili. Ele bele 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 bele. Male ya la 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 kata ya sata la kata la e. Ele kete ya la sata la la ya la 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 kata ya e. Himalei ele kete ya la sata la kata ya le le la 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 la. Hela kata 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 kata. Ele bele 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 bele. Male ya la 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 kata ya la sata la la ya la 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 la. Lord we honor you. Lord we worship you. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for today. We thank you for our life. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for everything that you have done throughout this last month. We thank you for the beginning of this month. We thank you that you have brought us to a new month, a new grace, a new beginning, a new start. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we cannot take today for granted. We just want to thank you. We want to thank you. We want to thank you, Papa. We want to thank you. We want to acknowledge you. We want to worship you. We want to honor you. Labor Lakata. Isa tabale ya la la, makata legi ele ya la sata la 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 la. I maleke te ya la sata la 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 la. Makata legi ele ya la 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 kata sata. Ele bele ya la sata la 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 la. Mala ele kata ya la 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 la. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us for mercy today in the presence of God. Things that we have done knowingly or knowingly, Father, we are asking for your mercy for wrong that. We have done knowingly and knowingly have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins. <coughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <coughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy upon us. Whatever sins we have committed, forgive us our sins. Have mercy today. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Forgive us our sins. Sins committed today, knowingly or knowingly, have mercy today. Forgive us our sins, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Le kata ya la ba, iya la kata 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 kata. Lord have mercy, forgive us our sins, forgive us today, forgive us today, forgive us today from every sins committed, knowingly or knowingly. Father, Lord have mercy, Father, Lord have mercy. In the name of Jesus, Lord have mercy. For Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Let's connect Amen. to the Holy Spirit in time of worship today. The Holy Spirit will connect with you in time of worship. Connect to this ministry. Connect with everyone today. Le kata ya la bala sata. Ima le ya bala 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 bala. Le kata le ya la 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 kata ya sata. Ma le 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 le. Connect with us today, Holy Spirit. Connect with us today, Holy Spirit. Connect with us today. Connect with us. Connect to this place. Connect with everyone that is here today. Holy Spirit, connect with us today. Iba la kata ya ya la 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 sata. Ele be le kete ya la la la. We connect today with Holy Spirit wherever you are. Connect to this service. Connect with everyone that is coming today. We pray for healing. We pray for deliverance today. In the name of Jesus, we pray for for deliverance. We pray today for your grace. We pray for your mighty power. We pray today that you do in this ministry. You will show yourself mightily that your name will be glorified. We pray today for healing. We pray for grace. We pray for deliverance. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's cover ourselves now with the precious blood of Jesus.
Ghost, Father, have your way. Cover this church of God. Cover everyone today with the blood of Jesus. Cover us. Cover us today with the name of Jesus. Lord, cover us today with the precious blood of Jesus. Have your way today. Have your way today. Cover us today, Lord. Cover us today, Lord, with the precious blood of Jesus. Cover the church of God. Cover the church of God with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Most gracious, ever loving God, we thank you for today. We thank you for this congregation. We thank you for all that you have done for the month of September. We bring October into your hands. That Father, you will break your bread upon us. In the name of Jesus, you will direct our path. You will have your way in all that we do. You will go before us. You will go after us. You will do all that you can in our lives, in the life of our loved ones, our family. We will commit this service today into your hands. That Father, you will dwell among us. You say, when two or three gather, you are always among us. You said, our gathering will never go in vain. Every cry, every prayer point, every word we are about to say, Father, may it, may it come to pass. And all that we have prayed secretly, Bless us openly in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for no. this group. We thank you for those who are on their way coming today and those who are unable to come, Father, wherever they are. May your grace be with them. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for all that you have done in the name of Jesus. Cover your word, your servant of God, that your word will be preached and we will not only be here, but a doer of your word. Lord, we glorify you today in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. No. Oh, my. 
Ministries from um, Postma. We thank God for His Word today. I believe everyone enjoyed that and everyone is blessed. Now we are going to hand the mic over to Mr. Gaima to start the service. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we happy in the presence of God? Yes. We are happy. We find ourselves today is the first Sunday of the month of October, and we are grateful to our Father in heaven. We come here with the strength, health, and with joy to come worship our Father in heaven. Amen. I will go straightly to the church announcement. Weekly church programs, order of service, and announcements. Church service, every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Church monthly meeting, every third Monday of the month from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> Bible studies, Bible studies every Tuesday from 7 p.m. To 9 p.m. Midweek service every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Night vision every last Friday of the month from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Evangelism every Saturday or any other day, whether you call by phone, texting, etc., the time is open. OPM is encouraging everyone to be on time for church service, Bible studies, meet service, and prayer meetings. Please, we should not forget the building fund, help for the needs. As we continue to do this and honor all these instructions, our Heavenly Father will continue to bless us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Testimony time. Testimony time. Praising time. Do we have any testify in the house of God? Yes. I just want to thank God for the first Sunday of October that I'm able to be in church. <clears throat> I want to 
to thank God for the first of October. I'm able to be in church today. Um, others are unable to make today because of death, accident, different, different affliction or different problems. But because of the grace of God, I'm able to stand here today to glorify his name. That don't mean I'm better than them, but I give God the glory for me being here today. Um, I pray that um, I'll be able to see many, many more Octobers, many years. And uh, <clears throat> on my power ministry, we pray one of my, my testimony that I will give. I know that God is ready to move us from where we are to where he wants us. So that's a testimony already that is on its making. I know that God is working somewhere secretly for us. So we are go I'm going to start giving the testimony now until it come to pass. So I thank God for this Sunday that I was able to wake up healthy without no problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for your wonderful testimony. And testimony is what we know to be true and testify by the goodness of the Lord in our life. And with hope, pray that God will continue to bless you and keep you going stronger with your faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do we have any other testify in the house of God? Today is first Sunday throughout the month. Good morning, church. Good morning. I just want to thank God for bringing me come to this present this morning. I just want to thank God for the first Sunday of October. I cannot take it for granted. I just want to thank God for all that He has done for me. I give God all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God the Lord has protected you throughout from last month to this month. May God continue to protect you. May God continue to lead you. And whatsoever you desire for, you will succeed. In Jesus' name we pray. Is there any other testifier? Do you have anybody want to testify about what the Lord has done for? Praise the Lord. I just want to testify to my Father in heaven for his goodness for everything that the Lord have done for me. I'm grateful to my Father in heaven, even giving me the strength, the protections, the job, food put on the tables. And I find myself here in the, my heart is full of joy in the presence of God. And I pray that as we start this month, that joy will continue to overflow. And I know that we have a living God that we call upon. I know Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the Redeemer. This I know is to be true, and I live with you in Jesus' name. Amen. That will lead us to our scripture readings today. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Psalm 91, verse 1 to the end. Please let me know. Yes. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 16. Are we there? Yes. They will take oh, the reading okay. simultaneously. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the flowers and from the noise pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and bunker. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly by day. 
nor for the past that walk in the darkness, the darkness nor, nor for, for the destruction that we still at noonday. A thousand shall fall at the side, and ten thousand at the right hands, but it shall not come neither it shall not come neither thee. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high in habitations. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel in charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy way. He shall be near thee, and thou shalt be thy gifts too. Thou shalt tread upon the lions and other the young lion and the dragon that shall thou trample under the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will send him on high, because he had known my name. And he, sh he shall call upon thee, and he shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy, satisfy him and show him my salvation. salvation. May the word bless into our hearts, minds, souls, and spirit. Amen. I will now turn the rest of the sessions for the woman of God for our fire praise, prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning for coming today. God bless everyone that is here today. I appreciate all of you guys for making time to be always in the presence of God. Thank you, everyone. So we are going to do our power power prayer points this morning. I would like everyone to please stand so that we can start. If you cannot, that's fine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Let us start appreciating God for his presence already here this morning. Amen. Let us appreciate God this first Sunday of October Amen. for everything he has done from last month to this month. For the life that we are preaching, for making us live among the living. Let us appreciate him now. Let us open our mouth and appreciate him. Father, we appreciate you. Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. We thank you for today, Lord. We thank you. We appreciate you. We acknowledge you. We honor you. We worship you, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We appreciate you. We thank you, Lord. Lord, 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 we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Le bala kata ya sata baba baba. E le bele kete ya la kata ya bala bala bala. Lord, we thank you for making us be here today. We are not better than those who are God, but we appreciate you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We appreciate you today, Lord. We appreciate you today. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Ask for mercy for sins committed knowingly or unknowingly. Ask your Lord God for mercy today to forgive you for every sin. Lord have mercy. 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 Mercy today. Lord have mercy today. Lord have mercy today. Mercy upon us. Mercy Lord. Lord have mercy. Forgive us for sins committed morning and morning. Lord God, have mercy today. Malekete alabalabalaba. Ele balakata kata ya sata. I malei alabalakata ya balabalabalaba. Ele kete ya sata bababa. He kata ya la sata balabalabalaba. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. He said, Isaiah 43, 19, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it spring forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness 
and they give her in the desert. So this is a new month. We are going to pray. We are going to prophesy. We are going to talk to God to make a way to do everything in this new month. You are going to ask God to breathe his breath upon us. Now this is our prayer point. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace and blessing over my life. I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your internal love. I magnify you for your mercy. Your mercy has kept me for I magnify you. May your name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. You are going to thank God for all that, for what he has done, for his mercy, for his grace. You are going to prophesy that upon your life, that God will make that come to pass this month in your life. God, grace upon your life. God, blessing upon your life. Open your mouth and prophesy upon your life that the grace of God will be upon your life. His blessing, his mercy will be upon your life. It's not by our sense. It's not by our understanding. It's not by our making that we are here. Here, but the grace of God make us to be here. The grace of God is available for us to be here. It's not by your might. Open your mouth and appreciate God today. Open your mouth and appreciate God today. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Appreciate God for God to make you to be here today. Open your mouth. It's not by your grace. It's not by your mighty. It's not by your power, but the power of God. Acknowledge Him. Put your blessing. Ask God to bless you. To add more life, more grace, more blessing. Le kata 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 balaya la la. He le be le kete ya sata balakata ya la la la. God, we ask for your blessing. We ask for your mercy. He balakata kata ya la la la. Le balaya la kata ya sata balakata ya la. He le be le be le be le be le be le be le be. He male kata ya li ya la sata la. Ela yala kata yele yala la 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 kata le yele le la ya baba. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Let your blessing, let your grace, let your power, let your anointing, let your direction, let your favor bestow upon me this October. Let every blessings that did not come September come October. Lebe leke te kata yala yala la. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. He said, Father Amen. Lord, I have entered into the month of October, year 2021. You are going to ask God to unlock every blessing that is locked in the month by the power of the Holy Ghost. From today, I decree that good news shall not chase, shall not cease from my home. I declare by the power in the name of Jesus throughout this month and beyond. I shall be congratulated. You will congratulate you. Wherever you are, you shall be congratulated. They will congratulate you wherever you are. In your job, in your marriage, in your home, wherever. You shall be congratulated. Every blessing that they have locked or locked today. Every blessing that they have locked or locked today. Every blessing the enemy have locked or locked today. We are praying for those blessings to unlock. You will be congratulated this year, this month. You will be congratulated this month. Every blessing the enemy have locked or locked today, wherever they have locked it in that coven, in that shrine, in that witchcraft coven, in that shrine, in that witchcraft coven, on cutting coven, in cancellation, wherever they have locked that lock, that blessing or locked today, or locked today, or locked today, or locked today, in the name of Jesus. Ask God to unlock that blessing. 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 God unlock that blessing. Unlock that blessing today. I shall be congratulated. I shall be congratulated. Unlock that blessing. 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 Unlock that blessing, Lord. 
I love that blessing. Lekete ya bala sata ya lakata. Ele bele 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 kete ya lala. Male kata ya bala palaba. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus name we are praying. Say Father Lord. For your word says. I will do a new thing. Now shall it spring forth. For you know it not. I will make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Father Lord, I decree that everything that has been marked impossible in my life is made possible by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anything that is marked impossible is going to be possible in your life this month of October. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Lekataya la sata bala 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 bala. Eleke la kata. He said, Mark twenty seven. What is impossible for man, God is possible for God. Whatever that is impossible for you this month of October, open your mouth and decree that it's going to possible for you. Everything that the enemy said is impossible, it's going to be possible for you. Everything the enemy said that is impossible, it's going to be possible for you. It's going to be possible for you. Everything. The enemy said it's impossible. It will be possible for you. It's going to be possible for you. It's going to be possible for you. Let everything be possible. What is impossible for you is going to be possible today. What is possible for you is going to be possible this month of October. I decree that everything that might be possible in my life made possible for me this month. It will make possible for me this month. Everything that might be possible will make possible for me this month. It will make possible. Make possible, it will be possible. Make it a catayala satama baba. Will you make it a cata 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 cata? Will you bala 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 cata? Will you be the belly 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 kitty? He might let catayas satama layala. Leba la cata 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 cata. He might let balayala la cata. He might let it take it a la satama. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. He said, Lord, I destroy every stronghold of impossibility in my life by the power in the name of Jesus from today. I shall begin to experience another dimension of greatness. As for today, you are going to experience another dimension of greatness in your life. As of today, open your mouth and decree that in your life, you are prophesying in your own life. You are prophesying in your life and the life of your generation. Yet unborn, your children yet unborn. Open your mouth and start prophesying in their life. When they come, they start enjoying that greatness. Open your mouth and prophesy for your children, your generation yet unborn. Start praying for them. Start prophesying in their life that as from today, your children born yet unborn, your generation, your lineage, they will start enjoying different dimensions of greatness. Different dimension of greatness today. They will start enjoying that. They will start enjoying that. Different dimension of greatness. Different dimension of greatness in your generation. Your children born yet unborn. They will start enjoying different dimension in the name of Jesus. Today you are prophesying your life. Makata kata. You are going to experience different dimension, another dimension of greatness in your life, in the lives of your children. Born yet unborn, your family lineage. We are going to start experiencing it now. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are praying. He said, Lord, I decree that from today, all my unanswered prayer are answered. They are answered today. Every unanswered prayer and are answered today. Open your mouth and ask God every unanswered prayer that the enemy has stuck to the third heaven is going to be answered today. Every unanswered prayer is going to be answered today. Every unanswered prayer. Every unanswered prayer today will be answered in 
the name of Jesus. Every unanswered prayer will be answered today in the name of Jesus. Every unanswered prayer will be answered today in the name of Jesus. Every unanswered prayer will be answered today. Every prayer that is lingering will be answered today. Man, Don't say it's not for me. It's a close mouth. It's a close destiny. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Two months ago. He said, Lord, I speak into my womb that has been locked for years. We are going to prophesy in our lives. Don't say this is not for me. It's for everyone. Man and woman, Lord, I speak into my womb that has been locked for years. Be open in the name of Jesus. I decree freedom for my womb in the name of Jesus. Anywhere my womb has been tied, freedom, freedom into it today by the power of God. Anywhere your womb has been tied, freedom to it today. Freedom to it today. Anywhere your womb has been tied. Let there be freedom, whether under the water, in the marine world, wherever it has been tied, freedom to your womb today. I command freedom. I command freedom. I command freedom. I command freedom. Wherever they have took your womb, wherever they have tied it, under the occultic world, under the water, under the water, in the covid to kobu try to try wherever they have tied it, wherever they have took it today, I command it or not, I command it or I command it on time. 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 Anywhere my womb has been time, I speak freedom into it today. Let your Open your mouth and say that. Let it be freedom today to that womb. Freedom so that what God has destined in that womb will manifest. Those baby will manifest. Those baby will manifest. Those baby will manifest. Let kata kata. Those baby that God has designed for that womb will manifest by fire. Whether the enemy like it or not, they will manifest today. They will manifest today. I stand as a servant of God. I speak for God. I speak for God. Wherever that womb has been tied, release today. Have freedom. Have freedom by fire, by thunder. I command that womb to have freedom. Whatever God has designed for that womb, begin to manifest. Let those babies begin to manifest. Let those babies begin to manifest. Let us baby begin to manifest. Let us baby begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Those baby that God has designed for that womb begin to manifest yourself. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. He said, Lord, open every door of breakthrough and uplift me. And uplift before me in this month in the name of Jesus. Father, every door that has been locked against me, I force them open by the power in the name of Jesus. And for every key that has been stolen away by, by the enemy, I pray complete restoration. Pray for complete restoration. Every door that has been locked to open. Every door that has been locked to open. Every door that has been locked to open. Make it a satan. Every door the enemy has locked. We, we find that key and no total trans restoration. Every door locked before you is open today. In this month of October. Every door locked before you is open today. In this month of October. Every door the enemy has locked. Break you today. Open your mouth and pray for your breakthrough. Let that door be open. 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 Let it be open. Let that door. Let that door. Let that door. Let that door. Let that door be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let that door be open. Let that door be open. Let that door be open. Let it be kata 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 kata. Let be la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. We are going to commit to make up our ministry to God's hands that this ministry will continue to be a solution center. My le kata yala satan. This ministry will continue to be a solution center. Pray for Omega Power Ministry. 
that this ministry will remain in Delaware and continue to be a solution center for everyone. This ministry will continue to be in Delaware and continue to be a solution center for everyone. This ministry will continue to be in Delaware and continue to be a solution center in Delaware. Le katayala satabara ya la la. Hima le katayala ya la 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 la. Hima le bele ya la katayele katayala la la. Makata sete ya la 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 la. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray again for Omega Power Ministry that this ministry will never be silent in this nation. We thank you, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We cover every word said today. Let's cover our prayers today with the precious blood of Jesus. We cover our word. We cover our word. We cover our word. We cover our word. In the name of Jesus, we cover today. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Lord, we thank you today for your word. We thank you for all that you're about to do. We cannot take today for granted. We just want to acknowledge you for all that you're about to do. Blessed Lord, we worship you for the grace to, to gather in your presence today. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. In this service, come and manifest your presence. According to the word, every good and perfect thing comes from above, from your throne, O Lord. Give us everything we need pertaining the life and guidelines. Enable us with the power to do all things because we know in you we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Abide with us, O Lord. Accept our sacrifice of praise and worship and let us go back home. Be fresh and filled with your joy, unspeakable. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoa. 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 Good morning, good morning, viewers all over the world. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And thanks to everyone that are here this morning. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks to everyone that are here this morning. I appreciate, I appreciate everybody's time for your presence today. Thank you, everyone. So we are going to do an altar call. We have a lot of people that struggle with the things of God, that struggle in knowing Christ. So all over the world, we preach the body of Jesus Christ worldwide. Everybody know we preach the body of Jesus Christ. We encourage everyone to give their lives to Christ because this is end time. And um, we encourage everyone to surrender yourself wherever you are. So I'm going to do this. Wherever you find yourself, if you pray this prayer with me, you can surrender yourself in any Bible-believing church, wherever you find yourself. So I'm going to pray this prayer you pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you die on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. And I turn my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus. So if you have prayed this prayer with me, you can give your life to Christ wherever you are and it shall never be the same. So now we are going to Wish everybody for the month of um, October, happy birthday, October's baby. Happy birthday worldwide, wherever you find yourself. Happy birthday for October. We are going to pray for them, Heavenly Father. Please bless those who are celebrating their birthday today in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, please protect and guide them as they continue along the path you have chosen for them. Give them the courage to follow in your light and feel your love wherever they go in the name of Jesus. 
Make them strong and give them the strength to make good decisions in the coming year. Keep them free from illness and sadness. Bless their day with happiness and success and, and all upset of their lives. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank God for today because we are able to be here today. This is not our making to be here. For us to even come here every Sunday or for us to get up is by the grace of God. We don't want to take it for granted. If even, I know at times there are days that we are tired. But if, it, if we can make it a day, a Sunday to church, it's by the grace. Let's let be appreciative to God. So today we are going to discuss on a very important topic that I believe everyone will be blessed. So we are going to talk today following God's instruction. What does it mean to follow God's instruction? Have we been following God's instruction? Creating me, creating me a clean heart, O oh Lord. I renew a right spirit within me, O oh Lord, creating me, creating me a clean heart, O oh Lord. I renew a right spirit within me, O oh Lord, cast me not away from thy presence, O oh Lord, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Oh yes, restore unto me, oh yes, oh, yes. the joy of your salvation. I renew a right spirit within me, oh Lord, creating me, creating me a clean heart, oh Lord. I renew a right spirit within me, oh Lord, creating me, creating me a clean Within me, O oh Lord, cast me not away from thy presence, O oh Lord, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Oh yes, restore unto me, O oh yes, the joy of your salvation. I you are a spirit within me. He said, How can we follow God's instruction? How can we learn to obey the Lord? So now we are going to look at Joshua chapter 1 from 1 to, to 9. Somebody can read that, then we can take from there. He said, no one comes into this world knowing to obey. Every parent must invest time and effort in training their children to follow instruction. We can train our children to follow God's instruction and follow the instruction of us because we were taught by our parents and what we teach them, that's what they will grow up with. We say you train up a child in the way of the Lord that the child will not depart when they grow up. So we are going to look at this. It's every parent must invest time and effort in training their children to follow instruction. Learning obedience with God's work in a similar way. We can obey our Heavenly Father if we want. So now we are going to look at Joshua 1. One to the end, to nine, sorry. Now after the death of Moses, Are you guys there? Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of me, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this children now, and all these people unto the land which I which I will give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the soul of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river the great all the land of the of the of the Hittites and to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your host. There shall not any man be able to stand before the all the days 
of their life as I was with you. So I will be with you. I will not fail you, nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their father to give them. Only be thou only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe mm -hmm. to do according to all the law mm -hmm. which Moses, my servant, commanded, commanded thee. Turn not, turn not from it to the, to the right hand mm -hmm. or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithsoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for them. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I command thee? Be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, wherever thou goest. Praise the Lord. He said, the books, this book of law shall not depart out of their mouth. Thou shalt meditate it day and night, and you will do according to what is written, so your days will be prosper, and everything that you do will come to pass. So he has told us if Joshua did not follow this instruction, what happened? He said, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over the Jordan. That was an instruction from God. Saying, thou shalt all these people Unto the land which I have given them, even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you. And I said unto Moses, from the wilderness of the Lebanon, out, even unto the great river, the river of Ephraim, all the land of the Atatite, and unto the great sea towards the uh, going down to the, of the sun shall be your coast. This was just an instruction. How many of us are following instruction? Some people, they will call them immediately. They say, hello, can you start talking? You don't even listen to the instruction. A lot of people have missed their blessing because they did not listen to instruction. Because they did not follow instruction. I am standing here. I have followed instruction with my boss from beginning to ending. I am not even scared to say it. Rose, do this. Yes, sir. Rose, do this. Yes, sir. Not that... I cannot say no. Some things I, I want to say no. But I follow instruction. The reason why? God only knows. Because those who follow instruction, you cannot lack. Because God always, there is a voice that can come from man. But God is the one that has that voice. So we have, we have seen the reading. So now we are going to discuss on this. Is it to teach, to inform, the mind to educate, to impart knowledge to one who was destitute of it. The first duty of parents is to instruct their children in the principle of religion and morality. We instruct our children the way of the Lord. If we don't know the way of the Lord, the things of God did not start yesterday. It starts from that. If we don't know that, we will not be able to sit here to even sit and listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's not easy for somebody to sit here. Even in classroom, when you sit, somebody is just talking, you get tired. One hour, two hours, you bored, you start yawning. That's why school, they have lunch time. They have break. Because if they don't do break, nobody will want to go to school. You say, no, I don't like school. Why? The teacher talk all day. Because it's not easy to stand and be talking to someone. Sleep will come. You feel hungry. You feel tired. You won't go use the bathroom. You won't do many things within that time. So to stand, to know, to sit and listen to preaching, it takes the grace of God. You have to have that insight. It has to come from bat. It came from bat, where I came from. 
It didn't come from the Christian but the Muslim religion. But there was God where I came from. From that I see it. I grew up in a home where I know there was God. Because I see my mother prays every day. She did not say do not pray. She said you guys can pray. And everybody did their part up to now. Where we are. So we have to direct or enjoy or persecute or admonish to our children, to our family, the things of God. We teach them the, what they have invested on in us. What your parents have invested in you, you train your children. This one say, if it's not for my grandma, I will not know the things of God. That's the same thing. What your grandma taught you, what your gra grandma planted in you, you have to plant that in your children. If you, they have shown you the way of the Lord, and you get up in the morning, Sunday, you just lay down, turn to the wall, don't go to church. The children know the things of God. You did not invest. They don't know how to cook. They don't know how to do nothing. There is a big question in future. Because God, like, God put a big tax in your hand. God believed in you to give you that child. He said, this child is coming to this, uh, this world. This child don't know nobody. I am going to give you this child. To take care of this child. It's like when God gives you something, he said, this is yours. Take care of it. Like this ministry, God said, okay, you are called for this ministry. I want you to take care of this ministry like your baby. You have to do all it takes. To make sure everybody got hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the same thing like your own child. When God bless you, bless that woman with those children. You have to give them instruction in the things of the Lord. He said, train them in the way of the Lord. That they will not depart when they grow up. They will know what is right. They will know what is wrong. He said, listen to the instruction of your father. We cannot forget that. And do not forget the teaching of your mother. Every one of us should teach this to our children. If we don't know our grandchildren, we should teach them in the way of the Lord. What we know, teach them how to cook. Teach them how to deal with their husband. Teach them when they grow up what to say. If there is wrong, stop right there and say, you young man, you young woman, you are wrong for doing this. This is wrong. No matter. They can be big, they can be small. No matter who they are, as long as it's your child, Direct that direction right there. That instruction, this is how it should be done, young lady, whether you want it or not. I know my own mother. When she talk, you have to want to go hide. Because she will say it all. Whether the world is coming to look at you. Whether somebody will be looking. Whether they will be laughing. She will say it all. I have to hide. Because it was reality. It was truth. So now we sit back and remember all what she said. He said, everything is coming to pass. She said this, she said this, she said this, she said this, but she's not here anymore. But those teaching are playing in our mind, in our head, because she did a very good job. So we have to do the same thing. We have to teach, we have to train, we have to show them the way of the Lord. He said, she began before instructed by my mother. What my mother taught me, I will be teaching my children. He said, choose to trust him if we trust God. If we do not trust the Lord, we won't obey him. Joshua, if he did not trust God, he would not obey that command when he said, take the place of Moses, take the people from this river Jordan, take them from where? If Joshua refused, those people will not be able to move where they are. He was the source for those people to liberate from where they are to where they were going. We can be a source to the lives of our children. We can be a source to the lives of our clients. We can be a source to the life of our neighbors. We can be a source to the life of others. Don't tell me, oh, that's the neighbor. Ah, that one don't talk to no one. I cannot even church. A child in any neighborhood, even your own child, it takes a village to take care of somebody's children. You can't say because this is not mine, I will not look. If that child is going in the street, take that child and say, come here. You have to go home. No, my mom will say, well, I will take you to your mom. Take that child to the mom. Let the mom say, don't touch that child anymore. Then you understand. But for the fact that you are there, you train that child in your own way at that time. Then you will be blessed. So we have to. If we, we don't listen to instruction, you don't listen to instruction. Some people will give instruction right there. You say, ah, I mean, I will not listen. You have to get something on your head before you talk. You have to be a bishop. You will die. A lot of people did not listen to instruction. They die. What happened? When Noah went out and preached, not one time, not two times. He spoke to those people. He said, I am going to be the ark. God said, everybody should come. What did they say? They did not follow instruction. What happened? They all died, right? Aha. Now we are coming. We are going now in the topic. 
They all died because they refused to listen to instruction. Even us that is sitting there, tomorrow somebody will be preaching. Come and see the Lord. Jesus is coming. Say, ah, forget that man. All day they're preaching about the body of Jesus Christ. I tire. I don't even want to hear. Then they will be saying the truth. So now, I don't want nobody to say, oh, that woman is preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I am not listening. We have to listen now because we don't know. Jesus might be in the corner and he might be the one speaking. When they speak, Jesus is here. Come and hear. He say, okay, I'm coming. Those who fail to follow instruction, they died in the time of who? Noah. It is the same thing happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened? When they talked to Lot, Lot went and talked to all these people when the angels said, go talk. Lot went and said, ah, God is ready to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's leave this town. We have to leave. He said, ah, forget. They, did they listen? No. They did not follow the, the, the instruction. What happened? All of them died. Lot's wife died. Why? Because she did not follow instruction as well. She turned. They said do not turn. She turned. What happened? She turned to salt. Right? So we have to follow instruction. In the things of God, we have to follow instruction. If we don't follow instruction, we will die. We will miss our luck. We will miss our blessing. Many things. So today, I'm here to put that in our, in our mind, in our soul, in our heart, in our body, that instruction is very important in our lives, in the lives of our family. Some people, when you start giving, they say, they say, ah, you're giving too much instruction. Ah, will I be able to do all this? I have gotten instruction. Go take this place, yes, sir. Go take that place, yes, sir. What the money? No money. But I'm still working. Did I say no? No. It's just a simple instruction. I did I know when God is ready to open that door, he will open many, many doors because of what I have done. He's going to open door. It's empathy we call that. Feel it. So we all have to follow instruction. That's what Joshua did. We have to. He said, anytime we tempered, we tempted to dis dis disobey in a particular area, that's the point at which we do not trust him. The solution is to activists choose to believe that God is who he says he is and that he will do what he has promised. Whatever God promised he will do. When he spoke to, to Joshua, to Moses, to Moses, it came to pass for those in the land of, in, to go to the land of Israel. Now, he said, determined to wait upon the Lord. Those who don't follow instruction, he said, I'm looking for a child. I'm looking for this. I'm waiting for this. He said, ah, no, no, don't wait. You guys wait for God too much. It's too long. He said, those who wait on the Lord, God is good to those who wait on him. And he, 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 he cares for those who seek at him, the souls that seek at him. Lamentation. That's what he said. So those who wait on the Lord, he cares about them. He's good to them. He said, determined to wait upon the Lord in prayer. The first step in making sure that we are walking in God's will to ask him to show us what he wants in our lives. We have to ask God. There's so many things. You see some home, you go there and say, hey, I won't be this. I won't be like this person. His husband, the wife, the children. You don't know. Some people have started way back. We just started yesterday. But we thank God to where we are. I thank God. I cannot compare myself with no one, but I thank God. But they started, some start praying from their baby. When the day they give back to them, their family start praying on them. Tell to where they are. Tell they grow up. They start praying for themselves. To where? So you cannot get jealous. All you need to do is say, ask, what did he do? He say, ah, prayer, that, that's where I born to where I am, I'm still praying. So at times a close mouth is a close destiny. When people pray, you see some of them do like this all day. God will ask you, why are you shaking your head? Open your mouth. He will ask you, why are you shaking your head? Some prayer you have to do violence. Because some of them, it's difficult for them to go. You have to be violent. So what did he say? He said, why seeking the Lord? We should also search the scriptures for passages. You seek. You cannot only connect to God. There's so many ways. He said that clarify his word. He will and give guidance. When you search the scriptures, you, there's so many scriptures that you read. So sweet that you will know guidance in the things of God. Then we must wait for his instruction and timely. People don't wait for God. Ah, me, I cannot wait to, uh, somebody show me to that man over there. That one, when you go there, it's so easy. Everything will be easy for you. It's easy, but it's not permanent. <laughs> when you start, when the, the, the first, first week, you go, you start, ah, they take me to one man, oh, money, money, money. Even my wife got pregnant, even this is happening. It's the first one month, three months, four months. 
Now the money is going down, depreciating. You go back. He said, well, this time, you have to give the last child that will be in your womb. He said, he said, ah, but you did not ask me this before. He said, well, this is what we do here to make everything continue. Then now you are doomed. But when you give yourself in the timely manner and wait for God's instruction, he said, there is no barrier. Even the people with womb, God bless them because he wants everyone to be a testifier. Omega Power Ministry, his wife was his wife was barren. They went to everywhere in Nigeria, no room. They came to America, check, no room. Say, ah, how God will give me a wife with no room? But by the grace of God, she has a daughter. She came in America, give back to that child. They published that one in all the papers in America here. Even doctors, they cannot believe. They say, ah, what did you do? He says, it's God. It's because he wait for the time. We don't have patience. The time for our glory, that's the time we step out. God is a patient God. Why can't we patient? Instruction. We have to, his instruction and his timely. Even when we cannot figure out what God is doing or why it delays. At times we don't figure out. You see somebody out there having babies everywhere. But you that worshiping God, nothing. Say, ah, but God, you don't figure out why God is doing this. But it's time. You don't look at that. You wait for God's time. When Anna was 99, did she, she ask a son? He, she did. She was so old now. Not thinking that baby will go in that womb, but nothing is impossible for God. What is impossible for man is possible for God. She had a son. Right? So, we cannot, we cannot beat that. So, even when it's delayed, let us don't figure out what God is doing. Let's just leave God. He said, remember that he knows every aspect of the situation should be bring us assurances. God knows everyone that is here, our our situation. He will bring assurances. But the only thing we need to do, we follow instructions and wait on timely. The instruction is, let's continue to do what is right. Follow his word, read his word, meditate his word, so that the book of God will not depart from us. What he said again? He said, this, he said meditate upon his word every day. If you have time, just take one Bible verse. Take it with you wherever you are going. If you're going to work, put that Bible verse. If it is one, write it down. When you go, you start seeing, talking about it. The wages of sin is death. But the, the, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Romans 6.23. You start reciting that. That's it. The Holy Spirit will just give it to you like that. He said, take. This is for you. Meditate it. Meditate is what? We never live obediently with a closed Bible. You cannot close your Bible. That's not obedience. The Bible should be open at least twice a week or three times a week. Now we have Bible on the phone. So nobody will say, I cannot read. If you in your car or you, somebody is driving you, if you don't have time, when you don't talk, you say, okay, let me just read the scripture. So the Bible is everywhere. Because that God primarily means of leading us within its pages are the answer to whatever situation we are facing. Every situation we face is in the work of God. Follow instruction. Every instruction, every guidance, every teaching, every correction, everything we look for is in the Bible. It's in the Bible. We go in the Bible, we search, we look, then we'll see. It said, then we must wait for his instruction and timely. When we are doing this, he said, be careful to do according to all the law. Meditate it on day and night. Today, we have the entire written word of God. And the Lord promised to bless those who do it, what he says. He said in Joshua, what you do, you'll be blessed. Every instruction you follow, you'll be blessed. You might not be seeing the blessing. Some people think that money has to flow everywhere is blessed. Even peace is blessing. Some people have money worldwide, everywhere. Is there a blessing? No, no happiness. You go in their home, you say, ah, I love my house, oh. I love the way me, the way I am. Because you eat, you lay down, sleep, you get up. You don't have nothing to worry about because you go to that home where money, everything is, it's fight money at night, it's argument money at night, it's so much atrocity, somebody don't want, everybody wants peace. You think the peace that we have is, is just a peace? This is the peace of God that we are, that is dwelling. Because when you get up in the morning, water is to drink. You have something to eat. At least you lay down, sleep, wake up. You go to work, you come from work. Nobody bothers you. You think that is coming from us? No. It's coming from the Almighty. We have to respect that. The reason why? Because we are following instructions. So we have to follow instructions. It's a walk when the way is not clear. Walk 
When you see the way is not clear, some people, when they walk, they want to see everything that is there. Walk when you see this way is not clear. When it's crooked, you walk. Don't wait when everything is there. Then you want to start serving God. When nothing is there, you start talking to God. When nothing is there, don't start when you stand in presence of God. Eh, Father, Lord, no, I've got everything, but the only thing I want is this. No, when it's crooked. We are saying this now, but tomorrow, this preaching will come back. Somebody will be remembering. Say, ah, she said it before. Walk when the way is clear. Please. He said, we miss the Lord will for our lives if we refuse to take step of obedience until we know what is going to happen. If we do not follow the obediences of God, we will miss our own way. We are in end time. So many things is happening now. People are looking at the world, don't care. People don't follow instruction. Nobody. You see few people. So that's why God is just leaving the world to leave it. Let the world leave it. Let whatever is happening, God say, let it happen. Because we don't follow instruction. How many of us seek to read? How many of us have Bible? You see some of them have phone on Bible. No Bible. Somebody is coming from home to church. What do you suppose to have? Bible, right? Aha. Uh -huh. When you come to church, you have Bible. We know Bible is on the phone. But when somebody is really going to God, that's how God let us. He said, my daughter is going to church. What I'm going with phone? My phone is my Bible. When you have a legit Bible where your name is from home, I'm going to church. Where? You hold your Bible. God says, yes, you are ready. So those who have Bible, continue to hold on to your Bible. Those who have phone, continue to hold on to your phone. Because he's going to ask you in heaven, where is your Bible? He says, my phone. I did not create phone. I created a Bible. So to know the word, to enjoy it very well, is the Bible. We have it on the phone to make it easy for everyone. If you cannot carry your phone, but when you are coming to the house of God, they have a lot of Bible. Everybody needs to have a Bible on their knee in their house. When you read a word, a scripture, go in your Bible, put a line, look for a pencil. Say this, they show me today in church. I will read this when I come back. Praise the Lord. So what did he say? He said, none of us can force this. What he will do. Our responsibility is simply to obey his, him today. Knowing that he owns tomorrow. By faith, Abraham obeyed God. Call. Even when he did not know where he was going. When or Abraham don't know when God said, take your family and you, let's go. Did he know where he was going? No. But he still got up. And prepared to go. That's the same way we are going to follow instruction. Living here. To move to our new location. Praise the Lord. He don't know where he was going, but he took his stuff in Hebrews 11, 8. And that's actually how we should walk with the Lord. That's the same way all of us will walk with the Lord. When God called you, don't say, I'm waiting for us. Rose have to come from um, um, that place before we go. He said, okay, Father, Lord, I'll go. Rose will meet me there. Follow instructions. So, and he actually, we should walk in the Lord. He doesn't reveal the entire path because with each step into the unknown, he's shrinking our faith. God will not tell us everything. At times, you will see a big dream before your face. You say, ah, what type of dream is this? Ah, me, I don't know. Because God don't want to disclose that dream to you. He wants you to continue to go. You don't just dream and lay down and say, ah, you yawn and sleep. Get up and pray, Father Lord. I don't know what is this dream. Are you giving me instruction? Are you showing me what to do? You don't know what to do. So we have to ask God what God is showing us. What are you showing us in that dream? Pray. Immediately you get a dream. Get up and pray. God, you have shown me this dream. What is this? This is vision. What is this? I cannot remember. Holy Spirit, direct me. What is this? At times it's instruction. Simple instruction. He's showing you to go help somebody, but you don't know what to do. That's why we need to obey the things of God. We need to obey the worshiping. We need to obey many things. He said, how many of you have passed down to your children things that we are taught by your parents? He asked that question. How many of us? If a children go to the age of 20, don't know how to cook, then that mother did not do a good work. Whether I cook water or I cook the rice different way, I was taught. At least by the time I'm like this, I know how to cook rice now. When I cook my own rice, that's it. 
If it's soup, we all drink. If it is rice, you enjoy it. But I was taught. Not that I was not taught the right way. I was taught the right way. You cannot come from that home and don't know how to cook. Even all the grandbabies, they cook. Because you will call them and say, I will not cook for you, for you or your mother. You will learn. So everyone learn how to cook. I thank God for our life. So what God has invested in you, invest in your children. He said, many of us have done that because it was important in our lives. Everything that we did to our children, the way of the Lord, the way of life, because you are preparing that child for tomorrow when I'm not there. You are preparing that child for that husband. You are preparing that child for God. So tomorrow, God will not ask you a question. Ah, I put this child in care of you. What did you do? No, cook. No, sir. No, don't know. To read the word, don't know. But if they know all that, what can we do? We just follow instruction. Praise the Lord. He said, God gave us a path of righteousness to live by. And he showed us the right path to live and gave us the instruction to pass down to our children and society that we may live. God gave us everything that we need to do. Every instruction. Everything to pass to our children. That's why the Bible is there. The Bible is there to correct them. The Bible is there to train them. The Bible is there to teach them. It left with us to pass that information to our children. If you fail not to pass that information to your children, you are held responsible in the time of judgment. When that child becomes bad, God will question you. I gave that child to you to train. So the Bible is there. The young ones that are going to have children, all of us here, start listening. Even we that are going to be grandfather, grandmother, train them in the way of the Lord. Teach them what they need to do. God are giving these people to us to do what we can. When you sit, you watch some great children are going in the Lord. You say, ah, I wish my children. Because they follow instruction. If you child don't want to follow instruction, when mother talk, you won't talk to them, then go ahead. God will be seen. He said, no, you try. I see you, you were talking. I see what you did. It was not your fault. It was the child. So I have no blame. I have done my part. So let everybody do their part. As God gave us a path of righteousness to live by. And he showed us the right path to live and gave us the instruction to pass to our children and the society that we live. The instructions that God gave that God gave teaches mankind how to live right, treat others, how to love, forgive, and what to do and what not to do. That's what God told us, how to love, how to live, how to treat others, and what to do and what not to do. Those are the instructions that God gave us. We need to live by it. If we don't live by it, then we are not called a child of God. If you are a Christian, this is what God wants. We are living in a society that we see somebody that needs help. We need to, let, to help them. You cannot say, I love God. You have not seen God, you say you love God. If you say you love God, you have to love your neighbor. You have to love everybody around you. I have not seen God yet. But if you have not seen God, you have to love one another. When you love one another, God lives in you. We have to love one another. We have to treat one another better. Because God treats us well. We have to forgive one another. We have to do what is right in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. He said the same is truth about God. He loves you and wants you to have a wonderful life on this earth. He loves everyone. He wants us to have a wonderful life on this earth. And come to live with him for eternity. Where this journey of life is over. When the journey of life is over, where are we going? Well, all of us will be dead. When Jesus is ready to come. Our generation will pass. Other generation come. They come. They come. Everybody, when Jesus comes, he will, he will wake everybody up in the time of judgment. Some people already start seeing their judgment right here. Right here. Yesterday, we watching you to see a man that said, God just give me my life right back. He got COVID. All, see all those tubes. All those tubes that they fixed in him. I felt so bad. But by the grace of God, he was alive. He was asking everyone, take the vaccine, take the vaccine. He said, God gave me my life back. I cannot take it for granted. So you see, because he was at the point of death, he was laying out to die. But his life came back to him. So you see, so many things that is going on on this earth, 
We cannot take the things of God for granted. Because God is making us, every day we are going, passing. This sickness, this COVID, that's a variant. We're not sick, but we're still going up and down. We are not better than those who are going. But at the same time, we don't take the things for granted. That we see. Instruction. All this instruction go again for this vaccine. When they say take vaccine, say no, I will wait tomorrow for next tomorrow. You don't know when. They, because these are all instruction people don't want to follow. People will perish. They don't know the word of God. They perish. Now when you know, they educate you. They sit, they sit and educate everyone. This is what will protect you. Say no, forget that. When you are at the point of death now, they start saying, if I had known. If people don't follow instruction, they will die. Those who are not following the instruction, they say, go take vaccine, you put your own time. Then you get yourself for blame. I am not talking about no one. I'm talking to the entire world. Those who have ears, let them hear. If you don't want to hear, that's your own. Because this is simple instruction. People don't listen. And all the people that are not follow instruction are the ones that are dying right now. Because they don't want to listen. He said, no, I will not take we start arguing. Do we know how many things that have gone in us that we don't know about? Is this one now? Because everybody's talking. This is what we know about now. So that's why we are bluffing. The one that we don't know, we will argue. They give us BCG. Big vaccine needle. Pack in our body. We leave a big mark. Now we grow. You see that mark? You, say, you don't know what was in that vaccine. We don't know all the vaccine vaccinated that we have took when we were young. We don't know. Nobody explained to us. Our people will just take it. Say, here this and take. Here this one take. All the vaccine that they are giving us, we don't know. They say for BCG, for the bones, for this. But we are still living. We didn't die. Follow instruction. You do not follow instruction, you get yourself to blame. Praise the Lord. He said, as long as we live, God's instruction for us is to guide us in every aspect of our life. Does it mean that we are, we, we are never going to have any more problems if we follow God's instruction? No. We're still going to have problems. Not because we will follow God's instruction. No, because we are living. We are human. Blood flow in this vein. We still going to have problems. But we still have to follow. When your boss says sit, you say no, I will stand. Not because you are the boss. You say okay, good. The next minute you say you are fired. Then you go. God said, how did you get fired? He said because they asked me to sit. He said why didn't you sit? He said well, because I'm a child of God. I have the, 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 the God all over. I said yes. But you should follow instruction. So wherever we are, whether the person is small or big, I don't care who they are, follow instruction. This is things in the Bible. But if the Bible is correcting us, we cannot sit and be, 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 be knowledgeable about something that we did not follow. Follow instruction. He says, as long as we live in this world, we are going to have problems come against us. But, but God's words are book of instruction. Help us to know the way to face this problem and guide us through them. My spiritual mentor told me, he said, listen, my daughter, take that vaccine. He said, but I will pray the prayer. He said the prayer. He said, before you go, just pray. Church the hand, church the needle and pray. I did exactly I have took two. I'm still living, I'm kicking, I'm in the presence of God, I'm praying. I have done all my part. This is instruction. If the people that say all those vaccines will die 20 years well, 10, 2 years well then, at least... They are bigger than God. God is not bigger than them. He said, when you take it, you will die in two years' time. Who will die me? I'm still living because God is not ready for me yet. My life is still going to go. So if they say two years, then nobody will be in the world because this entire America, people will not even be living because everybody will die. But it's not the case. Everybody is just doing their own because it's a free world. Everybody, where you go YouTube, you can talk whatever, you can follow us. So everybody's just doing. Those are not instructions. Instructions say, take this so that you cannot sick, you cannot die. People said no. He said, obedience is doing what God says. Because if God wanted, so many souls gone before we get that vaccine. People were praying, Father, Lord, send solution. We want solution. When the vaccine will come, everybody was dying by parts. The vaccine came now. People are running. Follow instruction. People don't want to follow. Then what do we want? Some instruction, God don't have to come down to tell us. God can go through man for us to follow those instructions. God went through man. Lots of doctors for them to put their head together to just create that vaccine so people will not die. They don't say you cannot get, you will get, but for you to die sleep, you won't die. So he said obedience is doing what, what God says. When he says it, how he says it, for whatever reason he says it, there is no room for uh, passivity, but it comes to obeying the Father. 
I know the vaccine did not come by man because that was a wisdom that God gave them. That was wisdom God gave them, knowledge. All of them came together, chose to create that. Nobody can sit if God did not give you wisdom. All of us, if we don't have wisdom, we cannot do what we do. So, there is no room for passivity when it comes to obeying the Lord. This level of commitment requires an active choice. What you choose today is what you live by. If you follow instruction, you will not die. If you don't follow instruction, you will die. So let me give you five ways how to plan everything. The one, be in prayer. A way to know that you are following God's plan and instruction for your life is being in prayer. Please. Be active reading the word of God. If you can, daily. If you cannot, choose a day. Make a calendar to follow. It's a follow the commandments he put on your heart. Follow the commandments he put on your heart. Seek a godly communi community. Seek godly community. We have to seek that. It's all about the truth. What is the truth? Don't be afraid. Stand there and tell the truth. And let, that's it. Obey the truth. Follow all God's instructions. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to give you guys a few Bible, Bible verses. We have Proverbs 19. It says, listen to advice and accept instruction. That you may gain wisdom in the future. Proverbs 19, 20. We have Psalm, Psalm 32, 8. Proverbs 19, 20. These are just what I'm going to give you guys then I'm done with um, the preaching. Proverbs 19, 20. Listen to advice and accept instruction that ye may gain wisdom in the future. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will cancel you with my eyes up upon you. Proverbs 4, 13. It says, keep all of instruction. Do not let go. Guide her. For she is your life. We already know the second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scriptures are brought out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be comp competent, equipped for every good work. Praise the Lord. Second Timothy 3 16. We already read that. Proverbs 10 17. Whoever his instruction is on the path of life. But he who rejects reproof leads to leads others astray. You don't follow instruction, you go astray. Lastly, John 14, 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring your remembrance, all that I have said to you. Praise the Lord. So today... The word of God is for us to follow instruction. Even little instruction, listen and follow. It will not lead you astray, it will take you to part. When we don't follow instruction, we go astray, it leads us apart. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. Today is our communion Sunday. I just want to make this short. Thank God for his word today. Lord, I pray you said in John 1.22, if we are only a hearer of the word and not a doer, we are deceivers. I pray today we will be a, a hearer and a doer of your word. You said you love those who wait on you and those who seek. Those who seek you. Father, as we are waiting on you, whatever reason, bless us. As we have heard the prayer today and the preaching of instruction, let your instruction be in our heart. Whatever way we are confused, whatever way we are doubting, whatever way we are struggling, be our instruction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for today. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You are all be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise his holy name, Mr. Gaima. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the wonderful sermons that we had today. I know each and every one of us will be blessed by this message. Can we please rise? And I will pronounce the following blessings upon the woman of God. Can we stretch our hands? Oh God, the eternal Father, with gratitude of hearts, we humbly bow down before you. With our children and sons, we thank you, oh God, for your message. Heavenly Father, we pray to you, O God, continue to use the woman of God 
mightily continue to empower her. May your will be done. We ask for wisdom and understanding. Amen. As you call her to walk in your vineyard, continue to open doors of blessing in her life that you are able to preach Amen. repentance and bring so many souls unto your kingdoms. Amen. This is all we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Abba will lead us with the tithe and offerings, and thereafter we we'll go to the communion. Praise the Lord. Amen. Put your money in a bank, so Jesus in a go out in day. Put your money in a bank, put your money in a bank, put your money in a bank, so Jesus in a go out in day. Put your money in a bank, put your money in a bank, so Jesus in a go out in day. Put I will please stretch our hands over the offerings and the tithing. Our most gracious Father in heaven, we are grateful unto you, O Lord, to bring this tithe and offerings unto your presence. Amen. Heavenly Father, our hearts is being joined together. As we bring this tithe and offerings unto you, O Lord, Lord bless all those who bring their tithe and offerings to you. Open doors of blessings in their life, open windows of blessings. We ask for increment in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for provisions. Heavenly Father, wherever these tithe and offering come from, Lord, multiply in their life abundantly. For those who are not able to bring, oh God, continue to bless them. Open doors of windows of blessings in their life. Multiply abundantly that they will be able to bring unto your kingdom, oh God. He said, when you bring your tidings unto the Lord's house, he said, I will open windows of blessing. There will not be enough room to store those blessings. Amen. Heavenly Father, we tap on those promises, O oh God. This is what we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That will lead us to the communion. This first Sunday, we have to partake of the communions to renew our covenants with our Father in heaven. Our communion scripture is taken from the book of Matthew. Chapter 26, verse 26 to 28. I read. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed it, and take and break it. And he gave it to the disciple. And they said, I take and eat this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye often as it is. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which I share for many of the remission of sins. Praise the Lord. So I'll pronounce the following blessings. O oh God, eternal Father, by the power and authority of the Mekezeri priest to which I hold, bless and sanctify this bread for the souls of all those who partake of it. Heavenly Father, as we renew our covenants with you for the remission of our sins, as we partake of these communions, Heavenly Father, help us to be worthy of the Spirit that whatsoever covenant we are made with you, that will keep ourselves holy. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Take the bread together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
blessing of the communions. Can we lift our communions? Oh God, eternal Father, bless and sanctify this communion for the souls of all those who partake of it, for the remissions of our sins. Heavenly Father, as we partake of these communions, help us to live a worthy life. As we renew our covenant with you, that will continue to do the things of God. This is what we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 connected upon this water. It's just an ordinary water. I will pronounce the following blessings upon this water. We will come here with a testimony. Oh God, eternal Father, Amen. bless and sanctify this water for the souls of all those who drink of it. Amen. Heavenly Father, transform this water into the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray to you, God, breathe into this water, O oh Lord. Let this water be a fountain water that will bring peace in our heart, Amen. that we bring healings in our bodies. Amen. Every sickness that we have, we're never aware of. Amen. Heavenly Father, as, as we partake of this water, let there be a mighty and permanent healings in our life. Amen. Let this water bring comfort in our heart. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that as we partake of this water, we'll come back here with a testimony Amen. and testify about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. Can we please pronounce seven times the blood of Jesus upon this water? The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. Drink it and you come here with a testimony. May God bless you all. I will turn the rest of the sections to the man of God for final prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise His holy name. Thanks again for everyone that is here today. Thank you for your time in the presence of God. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Let us pray. Father, you said in the book of Joshua 1 to 8, the book of law should not depart from our mouth. We should meditate it day and night. We should do according to what is written in the book so that our days will be prosper and we will have good success. Father, this is your word we have shared today about instruction. I pray we will not only be a hearer of the word, but we will be a doer of this word in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, 
You have kept us alive to worship you. Holy name. And we are gathered here today to do that. Thank you for this grace. The family says, I am glad when they said, let me go into the house of the Lord. Because in your presence there is hope, strength, joy, and peace to live a worthy life. In your presence there is great sufficient to see us through our journey in you. Oh God, you have to your tabernacle today. Fill us with every good things in Christ. Renew your love in our hearts and let us live our lives for you. We pray that all our program in this service will glorify you and will be and will happen and will be happy with us in the name of Jesus. King of glory, grant us godly wisdom that we may apply what we have taught, what we have learned, what we have what, what they have preached today about instruction in this place, out there, in our homes, in our jobs, everywhere. Whatever we do this week, help us to use godly wisdom, to use godly with instruction in every situation. Let the impact of the worship experience remain in our hearts that we may always remember your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dear Amen. God, Amen. we exalt your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for purifying our hearts with your words and setting us free from bondage. Thank you for the good time we have, you have given us today, we have spent. Help us to find more time to do this again. May we continue to walk in purity, peace, love, and joy. Let the name be glorified in heaven and earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, as we close this meeting today, we go back to our homes. We ask you to watch over us. Father, according to your word, you have given angel charge over us to guide us in all our ways. As we leave this place, we know that nothing by any means will hurt us. Father, watch over the words that your servant has planted in our heart. The word of instruction. Let your word take root and produce blessing and beautiful things in our lives. Help us to walk in your, in your love. And to be attentive to your prompting in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon you. And establish the work of his hands. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Amen. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever causes you, I will cause. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. In the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May he give you the desire of your heart. And make your plans succeed. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and, to, and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. And my God and your God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I pray today as we have gathered here today, those who are not here, Father, wherever they are, let their blessing meet them. I cover everyone today with your grace, with the precious blood of Jesus. Father, as we are living, we will not leave your presence. Go with us wherever we go. Be with us wherever we are. I pray for those who are looking for for, for, for wife and husband that reverence you. Father, bless them with those who reverence you. Wife and husband that will do according to your instruction. Father, those you have joined together, Father, I pray that your heart will continue to be with them. That they will follow the instruction of you. As you have said what you have brought together, let no man put asunder. All those who are together, Father, you said married is a sacred thing for you. Bless them. Those who are looking for that opportunity, answer their secret prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who are looking for, for job, for business opportunity, whatever opportunity, meet them at the point of their need. You are the one that can bless everyone in, in different way, in different dimension. Answer their secret prayer so that your name will be glorified. I pray for those who are looking for the fruit of the womb. As you came at the appointed time, at the age of Anna, you bless Sarah, you bless her. Father, there is nothing too hard for you to do. At the appointed time, you will come and bless everyone with many generations yet unborn in the name of Jesus. Father, make us be a laugh so that everyone will come and join us to laugh. I pray for everyone today. As we go, let our path clear. 
be with us. Let the word of instruction be in our heart, in our mind, in our soul. Whatever we do, we follow instruction. He said, those who don't follow instruction, they die. Through, through the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, through the time of Noah. Father, we at our time, bless our heart with instruction. I thank you for everyone today that is here. Those who are sick, I pray for healing. Father, connect with us that healing will take place now. Healing will take place now. Those who are sick in different ways, those who are depressed in different ways, whatever that is going in their mind, because of your presence here today, give them everlasting peace. Give them everlasting joy, love, and everything. As we are living, we pray we will not die in our sleep. We will not die prematurely, we will not die untimely, we will not die by accident. We will not die by atrocity, neither gunshot, neither astray bullet. We will not die by sickness, illness, or disease. Father, I pray today, we will always be at the right place, the right time. May your grace, may your anointing, may your power, may your protection be upon our lives today. The lives of our loved ones, our family, our generation born yet unborn. Father, let your grace be upon us. For in Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Go in peace and have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you all. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you viewers all over the world for joining today. Happy first Sunday of October. God bless everyone that have joined today. YouTube, subscribe to this channel, touch the notification button. You will richly be blessed. Share, share, share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone today, thank you. God bless.